Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video I'm going to be configuring 802.1Q tunnel, otherwise known as a QNQ tunnel. Um, we're going to take a look at why you would use an 802.1Q tunnel and the benefits that you get from it. An 802.1Q tunnel is, is used by um, a lot of times by service providers. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to have um, you know, these, these guys here. Um, we're going to change the names here, switch one. Since what I'm going to be doing with this video is using uh, actual uh, real Cisco 3550 switches to, uh, to show you guys this video. You can use 802.1Q tunnels um, to uh, trans uh, transport, you know, layer two uh, traffic across, you know, uh, you know, like a service provider network. So in this case, we're going to have um, switch one, switch two, switch three, and switch four. Switch two and switch three are going to be our service provider. Um, our service provider nodes and then switch one and switch four are going to be our customer nodes and what we're going to do is we're just going to take the customer layer two information and we're just going to transport it across our already um, made uh, tunnel so between switch two and three, we're going to have an 802.1Q tunnel, our trunk, I should say. And from switch switch two to switch one is where we're going to have our 802.1Q tunnel. So what we're going to see here is that we're going to be allowed we're going to be allowed to provide end to end. Uh, layer two services to our customers. Basically, this is known as uh, you know Metro Ethernet, and this type of you know um, implementation is called like Metro tagging. So what we're going to see here is that we're going to be having uh, basically two tags uh, on you know the service provider switches here. The one tag is going to be you know from its native you know. Um, trunking, uh, trunking. Um, so this, so actually, our service providers are going to be putting, you know, this customer into its own VLAN, and then it's going to be, um, you know, its own tag basically, and then it's going to, you know, transport this um, layer two information through its um, its network. So the Customer is going to be trunking out to you know our service provider. Our service provider in turn is going to put that customer information into its own VLAN, assign it to its own VLAN, and then um, carry it through its network and drop it off on the other side here. So we'll have a connection from switch one to switch two, then switch two to switch three, 